जस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जाम पैटर्न सिलेबस एंड स्टडी मटेरियल बेस्ड एफ ए क्यूज सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वेरियस पी एच डी कोर्सेज दैट यू कैन गेट इन टू थ्रू जस्ट एंड देयर एलिजिबिलिटी रिक्वायरमेंट्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सम जनरल एफ ए क्यूज अबाउट जस्ट नाउ बिफोर वी बिगिन कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग बिकॉज यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस एनी अपडेट रिगार्डिंग जे ई एस टी और एनी अदर कोर्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एफ ए क्यू वॉट इज जस्ट Joint Entrance Screening Test is basically an entrance exam to get admission into PhD and integrated PhD courses in India. It is organized jointly by many institutes of higher learning and research in the country. Just is conducted for graduates and postgraduate students who want to pursue their PhD in any one of the following: physics, theoretical computer science, neuroscience, and computational biology. Those institutes which are partners in conducting JEST for an admission in phd through chest so take a close look and find out which one do you want to get into now let's move forward with the next faq when is it conducted chest is generally conducted during february what are the phd courses and their eligibility requirements for that you can watch my previous video its link is given in the description what is the exam format for jest So there are two types of papers physics and theoretical computer science and chest each has a total of 50 questions of 100 marks and the exam duration is 3 hours each paper will consist of three parts part a part b and part c part a consists of 15 questions which will carry 3 marks each part b consists of 10 questions which will carry 3 marks each and part c consists of 25 questions which will carry one mark each the question paper of theoretical computer science will have questions of both types some requiring short answers while some involving detailed problem solving approach while on the other hand physics and mathematics question papers will be based on objective type questions only now let's see the marking scheme for questions in part a 3 marks will be awarded for every correct answer and one mark will be deducted for every wrong answer for questions in part b 3 marks will be awarded for every correct answer and there is no negative marking in this part for part c one mark will be awarded for every correct answer and one third mark will be deducted for every wrong answer now if you are confused about the exam format that whether do i need to take both physics and theoretical computer science papers then you should know that you have to appear for only one paper either physics or theoretical computer science and if you want to decide how to choose between physics or theoretical computer science then if you want to do a phd in theoretical computer science then you have to give just in theoretical computer science but you should know that institute of mathematical sciences chennai is the only institution in the country which is currently offering a phd in theoretical computer science and if you want to do phd in any other course then you have to take just in physics including for phd degrees in neuroscience and computational biology now let us come to a very important question what is the syllabus for just 2020 the physics syllabus for just 2020 consists of following topics take a close look at them and listed below are the topics covered for just computer science examination take a close look at these also now if you are wondering what is the level of questions in the examination so the questions in chest are based on the general syllabus of graduation and post graduation level courses which are offered by various indian universities now another important question is where you can find the study material for chest now these are some of the recommended books for theoretical computer science paper of chest You can buy them from link given in description. They are available on Amazon.in. Here I have provided you with a comprehensive list of all the recommended books for theoretical computer science. Do check them out yourself or from links in description. For physics, these are the selective books which are a must, and you can find them via links given in description. And here is another comprehensive book list for physics paper. Although these are just second options to the books. that you just saw you can check these out individually or you can use the link from description box 
Now, if you want to strengthen your preparation for just 2020, then here I have provided you with a complete list of all the books which are required in graduation as well as post-graduation in physics. They will give you an extra edge over others, but these books are not compulsory. And lastly, some practice papers and sample papers are must. You can get few of them on the official website also. Is there any limit to the number of times one can apply for chest examination? There is no such restriction on the number of times one can appear for chest examination. So how to apply for chest? You can apply by visiting the website given in description. What is the validity of chest scorecard? Chest scorecard is valid only for one year. And the age limit for chest? There is no restriction of age limit in applying for chest. So guys, thanks for watching till here. If you found the video useful and informative, then do leave a like and also consider sharing it with someone who might get benefited from this information. Thanks for watching.